Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Ah! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am in a fantastic mood. <laughs> um, today is my first ever influencer event. I'm still a little bit like, is this actually happening? Like, is this real life? You know, um, I was just thinking about it last night and I was like, obviously I'm really nervous, like really, really nervous. Um, and a little bit anxious about it. Like I, I do get quite anxious in like those kind of social situations. Like, um, I think there's going to be like 200 plus people here and I don't really know anyone, like literally don't know anyone. I know there's probably people like who I follow on Instagram or TikTok or wherever that are going to go to it, but like, I don't know anyone. Like, what if people don't like me? What if no one talks to me? And I'm like, I'm nervous about it, but I'm also equal parts like excited and so, so grateful to have been gotten invited. Like, it doesn't really feel real. Um, I'm probably going to say that about 20 times in this vlog. Like, it just... I don't know, just doesn't feel real. Like my Instagram page is like small, like so, so small um, compared to a lot of the people that are going to be going to this. And I know like whatever, like that doesn't really matter, but like kind of does, you know? Um, So I don't know. I'm just afraid someone's going to be like, who are you? <laughs> or like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I need to stop thinking about all the bad things and focus on like the good things. Ah. Um, I don't know. I'm just like hyper slash really nervous. Um, so bear with me, okay? If I'm like a bit jittery in this vlog, but I'm just gonna make myself a good breakfast, a good hearty breakfast to start off the day. So I'm gonna do oats, and I'm gonna make a coffee. I got these sachets. Bet you I won't find them now. Okay, I found them. These are um the Starbucks white mocha indulgent and rich sachets um i am obsessed with mochas and white mochas are like my new thing i've just discovered them recently but these were an offer the other day for like 2.15 and done so i said i'll have those but i made one yesterday in my like milk frother thing with my almond milk and it was actually so so nice so i can't wait to just have that and my porridge and just start getting ready for the day like it's oh it's 11 11 at the moment um and i am gonna eat like i said and then i need to wash off my tan i sleep like kind of hugging myself so i obviously either put my hands on like my neck or my other arm but my palms are <laughs> a little bit orange at the moment so i'm gonna have to try and take that off wash off my tan figure out what i'm gonna wear i have two options um figure out what makeup i'm gonna do figure out what i'm gonna do with my hair like ooh, there's just so much to decide and then like I don't know maybe I'm just putting the pressure on myself to like do my makeup really well do my hair really well like pick an outfit like oh ugh, I don't know like it's obviously fun but my overactive mind just uh, I don't know I'm not trying to be like put a downer on this at all like but this is kind of what it's like you know if you've got anxiety um and then obviously like the social anxiety on top of that like I just want I want it to go well um and I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous about it. But look, I know once I go and like I enjoy it or like even if I just get talking to one person, like um I'd be really proud of myself like for going and I have therapy on Thursday, so today's Tuesday. It's 22, 11, 22 also. It's the 22nd of the 11th, 2022. Powerful day for manifesting, so you never know. Um but what was I saying? I always get distracted by like these like little tidbits of information. Um, oh yeah, have therapy on Thursday. And I just know like I'm going to be so proud of myself when I go in and I'm able to say like, I was so nervous, I was really anxious, but like I used my tools and I went and I overcame it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited. Well, oh dear, I was nearly doing a vlog <laughs> without you in it. And you just said, actually, I want to be in the vlog today, ma'am. I want to be in the vlog today. Don't I? Say hello. Say hello. Oh, you just want a belly rub from YouTube, do you? You want YouTube to give you a belly rub? Okay, I'll give you a belly rub from YouTube. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, Crazy Goo. 
I can never get away lightly with uh, <laughs> with Mella around. I completely forgotten. Very sorry, Melly, to um put you in the vlog to say hello to everybody. But you're getting a nice belly rub now, aren't you? Yeah. And then Mammy has to go eat her coffee. Eat her coffee. Drink her coffee. And have her porridge. <laughs> Okay, so shocker, I'm running late, but I've just thrown on like any clothes to wear up in the car. Um and I've done my hair and I haven't decided what I'm gonna wear yet. So it's either this kind of like I don't know, t-shirty dress kind of thing. It's like body body on, or I got this like kind of bright pink um satiny shirt dress from Boohoo. So I'm gonna just bring the two and decide layer because I just I can't decide. It's also my time of the month, so I wanted something that's like baggy, but I just really like the kind of grey sparkly dress because this is a Christmas event like and probably not going to get a chance to wear something like that again for a while and then I got let me show you these I know the lighting is crap in here so I won't film for too long but these Bershka platform boots they are insane my calves are a little bit little bit too wide for them but they still fit like they're still fine so one of those two outfits um, with a black blazer over it. Going to bring them up in the car. Um, I am going to do my makeup. I wasn't going to, but then I thought it's winter and the lighting is going to be crap. And I'm better off just doing it here at home where I can kind of have everything I need instead of trying to remember what to pack. And then I'll just do like, oh, that's not got too straight. I'll just do um, top ups when I am there. So yeah, wish me luck that I can pull something together. Okay, so the sun is blinding me, but this is not going to show probably. This is the makeup so far. Um, I just want to go for like a glowy kind of look that wasn't going to stress me out, basically. Um, obviously, I've not done my eyes or my lips yet. I started doing them and then I was like, why am I doing this? I'm going to be eating coffee, having a bite to eat, um, maybe crying. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, before the event even starts like it's just half two now and like the event part um is not till six so there's like ice skating from six till seven and then seven till whatever time you want to go home at basically it's like um hosted by james cavanagh um liam from love island is going to be there and i don't know it's just going to be like cocktails and canopies and christmas songs and stuff so yeah i don't want like my makeup to have been something that Number one, stressed me out and made me be like, fuck, I can't do this. And number two, I want it to be something that stays. So I know like the products I used, my, I did mix those two, those foundations, <laughs> those two foundations. And then just like set the crap out of my face, basically with powders and setting spray. And I have stuff over there packed with me to bring. Andrew was on his way. He was off today. So he said he would bring me. Um, I just think how nice is that? Like, you know um and like at least then if i do get really really nervous and i want to leave i can and i don't have to like stress out about getting there or driving or public transport or anything like that so shout out to him for that coffee stop i got look the christmas bugs i got what did i get again oh yeah mocha and andrew got an iced coffee on like probably the coldest day of the year so far so that was clever and then i got a steve's look a little lint chocolate balls do you like them yeah i'm gonna have that for the snack um, on the way up and then we're gonna get something to eat and um it's the last shop I want to go into because my hair is still ridiculous looking but Andrew also got me a um lint roller for my jacket because it picks up hairs and dust and stuff for like absolutely nothing but I was just saying Costa Coffee is actually the nicest coffee like even nicer than Stars Bo Starbucks isn't it? Starbucks. Stars books. I think it is though anyway how far off are we now? Two days. <laughs> I look unwell like my lips are so pale with the makeup. Um how <laughs> Wendy Wu from the Grinch, yeah. What how far are we genuinely off? So forty minutes. Okay, we are in the car park um, and I decided I'm just going to do my makeup in the car because I've got like my makeup bag and eyelashes and stuff and I don't really want to be standing in the public toilets doing it. So I'm going to do my makeup here in the car. Then you going? Oh, thank you. Um, sorry, I'm covering the lens there. Um, yeah, Andrew's just gonna go to the bathroom and stuff, so it'll give me time to finish my makeup. Gonna get maybe a little snack. I'm actually a little bit too nervous to be hungry, I think. And Andrew says he's not too hungry yet. I think he's actually gonna go to see a film while I'm at the event, so that'll pass the time for him, and then maybe we'll just get 
something when I'm done. I know there's going to be like little finger food at the event I'm going to, but maybe we'll get like a takeaway or something on the way home. Um, I'm actually so nervous. Like I had that coffee there and I, I can't tell if it's made me better or worse. Um, oh, I don't know. I just feel like, what, like, what am I doing? Like, go, I don't know. Like I've spoke to a couple of people um, I had up on my stories on Instagram that I was coming and a couple of people from my town are actually going. So at least I will like know to see some people and um, just cling to them probably. But I don't want to be that person either. Like I'm just completely overthinking it. And like on Trend's page, you know, they've shared like um, people who are going to it and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just letting everything into my head like what if I don't look as nice as them or I don't know you, you know yourself like I'm just I'm just overthinking absolutely everything about this but I am excited like I am but I'm just so nervous like I hope I hope I get invited to other events like obviously apart from this one but so I hope that as as I do more I get less nervous and I just stop like oh, being so anxious I don't know why I'm I don't know I'm just nervous all right I did tell you to bear with me at the start of this vlog but anyway Andrew's like talked to me the whole way up and stuff like about just a random thing so it's taken my mind off it on the journey up and I suppose now that I'm here I'm just like it's all getting very real um but I just said to Andrew there I'm categorically not going to do the ice skating I've been thinking about it and in like the last 14 months I've had a broken knee and a concussion all from doing the stupidest simplest things like I was doing a skipping rope when I broke my knee and I hit my head off the tiles in the shower when I got my concussion so to purposely put myself on two skinny blades on like big blocks of ice is just it's not smart you know and I do have to go to work tomorrow and um, so I'm not gonna do that so I'm hoping there's some other people who aren't ice skating and we can just kind of chat and mingle and um, so then at least I'll have like some friends to go into the afterwards part with anyway i'm gonna go do my makeup i've been bladdering on there and procrastinating for too long i'm gonna just throw on a little bit more eyeshadow but some of these hidden agenda so so lashes and lipstick and i feel like i might have forgot a lip liner so that's gonna be fun i might need to run into pennies or something here if i have but if not i'm hoping i brought my like actual work handbag i'm hoping i have one in the bottom of there somewhere because like I actually have foundation all over these and um, so that's gonna need to be fixed i'm gonna brush out my hair i think either here in the no actually here because i'm not walking around on drum <laughs> with these rollers in and i will get changed in the bathroom and i'll decide on an outfit and obviously show you and yeah maybe then after that we'll actually be at the event and it won't just be me saying how nervous i am the whole time Okay, I'm on the way, but look at that pink bag. Like, I actually need that in my life. Let's go give Andrew hints. I want that pink fluffy bag in the window for Christmas. It's probably only about 300 quid. Christmas! Okay, I'm here. There's a tree. Um, I'm by myself. Uh, we have like a group chat that like all the trade affiliates are in. And I text to see if anyone was here. So fingers crossed. I'm not like a big loner all night by myself because that would be a little bit awkward. Andrew left me outside. And I feel like a kid that just got dropped off like at school without the mum and dad. The Trans Beauty Christmas Bash here at the Flying Dog in Harvard. I did it, Andy. I'm sure did, okay. Yeah. It's like I spent like, what time is it now? Quarter to ten. Um, like nearly four hours by myself. I'm an independent woman. Um, we finally found the ice skating. Like we had to get, what would you call it? Like a security guard, basically. Like, and he- In your case, it was a special needs assistant. Yeah, he basically like took my hand <laughs> almost. And um, like walked us right to the entrance of the ice rink. Hell am I, that's not Okay, belts on. <laughs> Safety first. Um, Andrew's jeering me for calling everyone, hey guys. <laughs> but 
yeah i'm really glad so i'm trying to be serious i'm really glad that i did that like when i went in by myself andy um what was i saying yeah, basically, um, like I went into the ice rink and I wasn't ice skating because I'm too clumsy. But I was standing there for I, I'm not messing twenty minutes like by myself, and um, and like there was no one there. I texted a guy who I who had told me today on the way up that he was going and he came in. Thank God, um, Jamie. He's from the town, obviously where I'm from. And then there was other girls there that I saw and another guy. Um, they were in the vlog <laughs> but they came and I basically just tagged along and I just ended up having a really good time like I feel really I don't know motivated like to work harder at all this now I think because I don't know like I can I can do it now do you know what I mean everyone was just so nice to me and I met Aideen Kate I love her um and just met like a lot of people that I follow and stuff on on Instagram and I'm just happy about myself. Got a goodie bag as well, which I didn't think we would because there was like hundreds of people at that event. And I just thought like there was a free bar, like free food. Um, I didn't think we would get a goodie bag. So we did, I haven't even looked in it yet, but like the brands that Trend Beauty stock anyway are unreal. So I just know this goodie bag is gonna be actually class. Maybe I will show you tomorrow. I was gonna finish the vlog off here, but I'm not gonna be able to like show you all the products and we're heading outside now. Clearly the lightness is awful, but <laughs> it's kind of like right underneath the light. Well, um, yeah, no, what I'll do is we're going to go get McDonald's, I think, or something like that, aren't we? Yeah. Because um, I had like two cocktails on a fairly empty stomach. And then I will show you the goodie bag tomorrow. Okay, please ignore the state of me, but it is goodie bag time. Um, I won't lie, it's a good week later, but after the event, I got a really bad flu. Um, wasn't COVID, but I did have to do a COVID PCR test for work wasn't a vibe and um, i hate getting those but anyway i am feeling much much better now and i am on my way out for christmas drinks with the girls and um, so i'm actually running a bit late but i just said while the lighting was somewhat decent and um, i would show you the goodie bags because the late evenings like they're just so dark and um, so anyway goodie bag time right so the first thing first now i've opened some of these because i was feeling like awful with my flu so i said i'd have a little a little look at these and um try make myself feel better by using some of them i used this i can't believe we actually got this for any goodie bag this is like 30 something euro um on its own this is the ella and joe brighten and glow hydrating exfoliating cleanser a little bit of a mouthful but i've tried this and it is so nice if you're looking for something for christmas um it's, it's just it smells so nice it's like a kind of a thick gel and you put it on dry skin and then you can either wear it as a mask for like five to ten minutes or you can just like put water on and rub it off and it, honestly so so nice and um, i've actually tried this and a couple of other things from ella and joe and i now um an affiliate with them next thing was a red balloon makeup brush this is their buffing brush and um, foundation kabuki it's the r09 i already own about three of these but it's just so dense and perfect for buffing in your foundation like i actually even used it today now i know the lighting keeps going a bit funny here but obsessed with that brush and every brush really from Rebeluna. um oh we got these kiss my lash but better um false eyelashes they're actually lovely probably what i would do would be cut off the front little part and use them as a three quarter length lash because i'm just loving that lately i'm actually not even wearing lashes today because i just couldn't have been bothered trying to get the glue to work for me um what else did we get oh a mini be a bell tan that's actually quite cool for keeping for if you want to go away on holidays or something i've tried that tan before and i do like it so that is quite cute we got a note matte ever lip ink i've i've not tried these before um oh it's pink i don't know if you can see that there i'm assuming it's like a kind of a liquidy kind of lipstick and then it dries in matte but that's actually really quite quite a nice shade eight hour long lasting and kiss proof if you don't mind that is shade 09 all about pink um i will try that maybe in another video um but it seems quite nice like it dries down kind of powdery almost but it's not too dry in which i just i don't like really dry dry lips um oh bella mianta flawless filter body makeup i should have had a look at that and put it on my chest today but i'm a quite a big fan of that we get so much in these goodie bags um a la girl glow up highlighting jelly i've not tried that yet but i'm imagining it's like a 
creamy kind of texture or highlighter. Um, Loving Tan, I don't know much about this brand, Instant Colour Satin Finish for dark, medium to dark skin tones. I would say that's probably like some sort of a highlighter that you put across your chest as well. I've not used it, so I don't know. If you have, let me know. Um, What is this? J Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. Oh, I'd say that's quite nice. Actually, it looks to be like a bluey silvery shade. I don't know if you can see that there, but that would be quite nice with like black eyeliner. And then the way I have sparkle here just on my eyelid, that would be quite nice for Christmas time or New Year's even. Um, oh, a mini eye so clean. I use the obviously the bigger bottle of this to wash my makeup brushes all the time and I swear by it. So if you're looking for something like that's an easy way to clean your makeup brushes, I would get on that. We got a Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Magically transforms texture. Oh, so it's like humidity proof. Um, I've not used that before. So if I do use it, I'll let you know. But I have there... You know the filter one that takes like a kind of any residue or dirtiness, not dirtiness, but like stops your hair going green kind of and losing the blonde from your hair. So I'll let you know what that's like um, because I do like the other product. We got a mini Dermalogica. Oh, very lovely. Daily McFoliant, Milk Foliant, Calming Oat Base Powder Exfoliant. Oh, that sounds quite nice because I do have um quite sensitive skin. So any kind of like rough ex exfoliants just... They don't agree with my skin so i will definitely try that actually maybe this evening when i'm taking all this off then we got a mini double major hyaluronic acid gel moisturizer and um, from higher education i think that's a new brand and um, new to trend beauty um so i will try that also and let you know because anything hyaluronic acid is my best best friend but yeah i just thought what a good goodie bag like fair play to trend beauty because there's a lot of money worth in, in that like bag alone like that's like i said 30 something i know for a fact the brushes are 10 or around um that wow stuff at least would be a tenner wouldn't it um don't know much about that but let's say five ten euro the lippings five ten euro the highlighting jelly what you're gonna talk about five maybe five to ten euro the self tan the tan lotion um or yeah body base whatever like that is a lot um so i'm delighted with that um i'm gonna go now though because the girls have text in the group chat that they are already there and i'm always late so i don't want to be even later than i already am and i obviously have to try and sort out my hair but yeah i'm just really happy with that um i'm gonna go finish off this vlog now because like i said i'm late and yeah just thank you so much for watching this vlog um I'm still kind of on a high from the event, I won't lie. Like, it's just, I still can't believe that I went. Like, um, and I've actually been chatting with the PR company who ran it since, and they're sending me out some PR. So I'll show you that when it comes. But I just feel really, really grateful, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I haven't even looked back on the clips that I got yet because, like I said, I was sick and I'm only starting to feel myself again. But I hope I got enough and managed to show you um, a little bit of what it was like. Um, and here's to many, many more, hopefully, that I get invited to. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because it makes such a big difference. Um, obviously, to my page, you know, it's a little bit different on here to the likes of Instagram and YouTube. Um my viewings here are obviously just that little bit lower because I'm still working on building up my subscribers and stuff so it would mean a lot if you do enjoy my videos um to just like or subscribe or give me a little thumbs up I don't know <laughs> um I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one